So here we are in Bridge CC, and we're taking a look at how to export now that the export options have been removed. If you're used to using Bridge and you just want to keep using that to create uh, JPEGs from other uh, documents, one of the um, easy ways to do that is to uh, use the Photoshop to change all the pictures into the format you need. So what you can do is highlight the images that you want and when you go through and go to tools you can go to Photoshop and you can do the image processor and what that does is that allows you to do a set of actions all at once so you could uh, save it in the same location and you could tell it to resize if you needed to uh, you can even run actions that could do things like you could have a an action that would create a vignette or um, cast a shadow, you know, wood frame. And what it does is it just runs through those really quickly. So what we're going to do is just choose the that option. You can also tell it to save as another file so you can have a PSD and a TIFF so it can save multiple times. So it's pretty useful. Uh, even if you still have version CS6 or below. But anyway, when you click run, you'll see it just flash up the pictures onto your screen really quickly because it's just going to knock through them one at a time. And when you're processing hundreds, this can take a while because you actually see the picture open and close. Uh, in this case, obviously, it didn't take that long. So, anyway, uh, a way to use an export when there is no more export command in Bridge, you use the Tools, Photoshop, and the Image Processor. And that's it for this video.